Hello everyone, this is Anand. If you want to study or learn any topic, first you want to know the purpose of the topic and why it is required for you. This module will cover all the brief information about the Six Sigma. Here we go. This is a module 1 Introduction to Six Sigma. Sigma, it is not a kind of metric or standard or any percentage so it is in simple term one process how you can calculate the efficiency so sigma is a one, one efficient way to measure the efficiency of the product so sigma which in simple how much the process is from the perfection or output here is a brief explanation about what is sigma so sigma in this like greek word it is not a standard certification or metric percentage or it is used for a statistics to represent the standard deviation from the mean value so mean value process perfection or process output here is the schematic view of the example mean which is called one process perfection so LSL lower specification limit and USL upper specification limit. This is a process perfection. Sigma, see the sigma limit. Sigma, the process deviation. What is six sigma? It is a kind of methodology or tools. It is used to improve any kind of business process. It is, it is a common for any sectors like mechanical manufacturing or any service sectors it is applicable where there is a process there will be a deviation so sigma can measure the deviation of the process six sigma the defects and error of the process variations quality and as well as the process efficiency why it is called six sigma and why it is not seven sigma you may be familiar with the domino's delivery process if you ordered a pizza from the dominoes they will assure you 30 minutes guarantee they will prepare the pizza and your doorstep within 30 minutes this is a clean process have you remembered how many times you got a late delivery after 30 minutes can you remember it may be very amount of the process deviation most of the time 99.9 percentage .9 they Pizza, your doorstep delivery within a 30 minutes. It is a kind of clean, efficient process. Based on the Six Sigma only, they have plotted the time and they are following the efficiency. Now we are going to see why Six Sigma, why not Seven Sigma. Why it is called Six Sigma? So Six Sigma because the term Sigma refers one standard deviation in a data set process the idea is that six such deviations should occur before the process result in a defect if you want to standardize the process efficiency you will definitely get the six such deviations see the what kind of six deviations so here you can see positive size six and negative size six so lower specification upper specification so this is the one best example of any process sigma value 99.99997 percentage defect free process when a process achieve the six sigma it reach a point only here you can see 3.4 defects per million probability of the defects right only 3.4 defects per million of the opportunities of the defects okay then only the sigma will reach 99.9997 percentage it is an extremely high bar to clear the sigma provide the tool and to achieve and the business process why six sigma so it is a schematic view of each type of the sigma processes so now you can see six sigma level defects per million opportunities percentage if you take any process like dominoes also so first sigma level they have achieved 6,91,462 defects per million opportunities probability 
and the percentage of the yield is 31 they have reduced the variations they have increased the quality after that in 2 sigma 3,8,537 defects per million opportunities and the percentage yields 69 in 3 sigma they have achieved 66,807 defects per million opportunity the percentage yield will be 93.3 after step by step improvements they have achieved 6 sigma only 3.4 defects per million opportunities and the percentage yield will be 99.9997 percentage which sigma you will prefer obviously 6 sigma so this is what we can call this is the history of 6 sigma it got started with 1809 Gauss he's a he was a German mathematician the concepts of normal curve it, the evolution was started after that the steward from the US coined the Six Sigma name got started with Bill Smith Mr. Bill Smith Motorola founder the father of Six Sigma he introduced in 1918 Malcolm Balbridge National Quality Award he got the origins of Six Sigma, John Carl introduced the method Six Sigma philosophy and he is the great mathematician. Care the whole concept of Six Sigma. William Bill Smith, he was an American engineer at Motorola. He found that Six Sigma to the productive efficiency, the quality defects. He is the father of Six Sigma. The Six Sigma principles to efficient way to save the money, human resources and time by avoiding all the quality concerns and redundant processes which is affect any kind of process. This is the formula of Six Sigma calculation. The process variation will be plus or minus three Sigma. Now let's see Six Sigma level with the respective of the specification. Here you can see the process capability. If the process 1 sigma CP which means process capability 0 0.03 efficiency will be 31 percentage PPM which stands for parts per million or we can call it also DPMO defects per million opportunity. Here you can see plus or minus 1 sigma which represent the tolerance level and plus or minus 3 sigma which represent the process in the tolerance level which is very high when compared to the process so the process will be achieving only 31 percentage after some improvements the process will reach the 2 sigma the process capability will be 0.67 the process will be plus or minus 3 sigma so it is high when compared to the tolerance level, the process efficiency will be 69% and the PPM will be 3,8,537. So this is a realistic example, I mean real-time example of which we see in the schematic views of Six Sigma levels. When after the improvements, after the process is reached 3 Sigma, the process capability will be 1. The tolerance level and the process will be matched. So the efficiency will be 93 percentage and PPM will be 66,807. After the some improvements in the process, reducing the quality defects to improving the production efficiency, it reached the 4 sigma and the process capability will be 1.33. Efficiency will be 93.4 percentage. See the process plus or minus 3 sigma. So when compared to the process, it is less. So the PPM will be 6,210 opportunities of the defects. Then it will reach the process Phi Sigma. See the diagram here. So this is a tolerance level. This is a process. When it compared to the process, it is very less compared to the previous Sigma. So the process will reach the efficiency 99.98 percentage. It is good but it need more improvements then the process capability when it reached at lowest six sigma so it is the 50 percentage of the tolerance the process is operating at six sigma level 
50% of tolerance. In this case, we will get the only 3.4 parts per million opportunities of the defects. I mean, or DPMO. So it will we can get the 99.999967 percentage. This is the best example of the process when the process is reached the six sigma level. I hope you can understand now. So in the step by step process, how they are implemented in the quality defects to improve the production efficiency. This realistic you compare with the Domino's process. You can able to easily cope up and you can match the real time results. Thank you.